Hi Hung, uh, in this video I'm going to uh, show you uh, how to use the, the slideshow on the, the new website. So once you have logged in, go to Next End System and uh, then go to the Smart Slider. Now we've got a, a little feature over here where you can switch between Simple and Advanced. Uh, Advanced or Expert gives you more options, but Simple is easier to use. Uh, and um, the slideshow that we are working on is over here. So simply click on Super Trim to get started. Uh, you'll have some general options that are below here, and they are mostly self explanatory. So you can have a little look and, and a play at those options. They affect how the slides work in general. Now what we're going to do is we're going to look at the individual slides and see how to edit individual slides. So I'll click on slide 1 and uh, then it, it loads up for us. Here we go. Now we can move things around by just clicking and, and dragging. Let's say we want to edit this text, then the text is over here. Uh, and um, if you want the, the text to be a bit smaller, let me see. So you can change it here. There we go. So this is how you can change the text size. So we'll, we'll keep it at 100%. That's all right. Uh, you, by clicking on the picture here, you can then choose to replace it by clicking on Image. And then you'll see some of the pictures that we already have on the website. You can browse to different folders. Or you can simply drag a picture from your computer across. So if you have uh, some suitable pictures somewhere, let me see. I don't seem to have any here. Just a moment. Okay, if I want to use this picture here, I simply drag it and there it gets uploaded. And then you can use it by simply clicking on it. But of course we don't want to use that picture, so uh, let's let's change it back to the uh, Supertrim logo. Now for each of these items you can add an animation. So for the logo for example, I've clicked on the logo and now we go to animations and it's got an animation already that I can delete by clicking here. So let's do that and let's add a new animation. In means uh, at the beginning, so when the slide begins. Loop means a an ongoing animation, so it's constantly happening while this slide is shown. Out uh, means at the end of the slide, so when this slide is changing to the next slide, then something will happen to it. Or events, for example, if someone clicks on it, then something will happen. So let's go to In, and here we've got our, our slide our options, so Bottom does this. Top does that, bottom fade does this, flip left does that. So once we're happy with the, the option, then we uh, simply apply it. And uh, if you want to have a look at what it looks like, click on Preview. They went a bit fast, uh, but... Um, Let's, let's go back again. There we are. Okay. So if you want to add something new to, to this, you can simply make a selection from one of these items here, like text or a heading or a picture, and you can edit as I just showed you here below. And once you're happy with what you've done, click Save and then go back to the website and have a look at what you've done. So I hope this helps and uh, gives you a little bit of an intro 
to how this large system works.